Hi Vinyl Community, it's uh, Mike here and today's video is a response to Thread. Now I saw Berkshire Mike do this and uh, it's for a channel that I've not heard of before. It's a guy called Peter and his channel is uh, Music is a Journey and he put the thread up uh, to celebrate uh, getting 800 subs which uh, is quite an achievement really for the Vinyl Community and I went over and had a look at his channel and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, he's got a really, really good presentation style and uh, he makes some absolutely cracking videos. So I'll leave a link in the description. Anyway, uh, what he wants us to do with this thread is to uh, show three records. And the first one is to show a song that uh, it's not in English. Now, I really like uh, French pop music and so I thought I'd choose on it from a, a French band and and it's this band, they're called uh, La Femme and this is our album uh, Teatro Lucido and uh, although they're from France uh, this is an album that's in Spanish. Uh, it says on the back that it's, uh, it's volume one of uh, Un Odyssé uh, Hispanique so uh, it's got some really cracking uh, sort of funky, uh, funky sort of Latin uh, tunes on it. And uh, the, the, the one I'm going to uh, I'm going to mention here is uh, on side two, and it's called uh, No Pasa Nada, um, which I think literally means something like nothing happens, but. Um, it, it, it really means something like no problem. So when in the Terminator, Arnie says, no problemo. Uh, what he really means to say is uh, no pasa nada. So that's my uh, non-English uh, song. And second up, uh, Peter says, well, you know, what's a, a city or a town that uh, means something to you? And uh, can you show a song that's actually about that town or, or mentions that town? Well, I was born in Eastbourne on the south coast. It's in, in Sussex. And uh, if you don't know Eastbourne, it's renowned for a place where people go to retire. So you can probably imagine, you know, as a teenager, I thought Eastbourne was probably the most boring place on earth. However, 20 miles along the coast and uh, about half an hour on the train uh, was the uh, music mecca of Brighton. And uh, quite honestly, if Brighton wasn't there, I don't know what I would have done uh, when I was a teenager. So uh, myself and my mates, you know, when we were a bit bored, particularly on the weekend, uh, we'd hop on the train over to Brighton, have a few drinks, uh, go around the clubs. Uh, There's a great music scene over there, uh, still is. and. Uh, so, so Brighton is a place that means quite a lot to me. So there's quite a few, quite a few songs that mention Brighton, and and, and some of them are pretty obvious. You know, there's like this Queen, uh, Brighton Rock from Sheer Heart Attack. I thought no, won't show that. Then of course Tommy, Pinball Wizard. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the Silver Bowl from Soho down to Brighton. I must have played them all. Again, I thought I could show that a bit obvious, so no, didn't, I won't show that. What about Fat Boy Slim? Uh, he lives down in Brighton, and uh, this is his, uh, his album, You've Come a Long Way Baby. And uh, there's a track on here called You're Not From Brighton. And I thought I'd show that, and then I thought, oh, there's another, there's another one, even better, even better one to show. And it's from the, these lads, absolutely brilliant uh, punk band from the early 80s, the Anti-Nowhere League. They don't get a lot of mention, really, uh, alongside uh, other punks, but they, they were an absolutely brilliant live band. And uh, this is their second album. As you can see, it's called Live in Yugoslavia. And uh, it's got, uh, got a track on here that uh, was, was a real, real favourite uh, at gigs and uh, it's called So What. Uh, I won't I won't quote the first line because it's um, not for family viewing I suppose but it goes on. Well I've been to Hastings 
I've been to Brighton, I've been to Eastbourne too. So what? So what? So, so what? Um, that's it. Anti Nowhere League song that mentions Brighton. And finally, uh, Peter wants us to show a song that uh, is, is from the area where you are now. Well, if you watch my channel, you know I'm in Leeds and I'm always banging on about Leeds bands, so this is no problem for me at all. Um, and in fact, uh, this this Friday I picked up a couple of a couple of new releases. Um, the first one was this uh, this album, and it's a uh, it's a jumbo record exclusive. It's it's a compilation, and it's called uh, the Art School Dance Goes On Leeds Post Punk 1977 to 1984. And uh, what this is, it's a load of tracks, a lot of rarities um, from bands that uh, made their made their start in or around uh, Leeds Art School, Leeds Polytechnic. So there's some pretty famous bands here. I mean, you've got the Mekons, Gang of Four, Delta Five, and here's Soft Cell, it's pretty polity. And, and all the tracks on here are either, you know, rarities or, um, you know, stuff stuff off the cutting room floor, so to speak. But there, there are there are a lot of bands here that that, that I don't even know, and I, you know, I'm not even sure whether they released this stuff at the time, other than, uh, you know, sort of just doing a bit of DIY. So, Cast Iron Fairies, um, who else? Uh, MRI, uh, another colour of the Three Johns. I like the Three Johns. Um, they were a band that consisted of three guys called John, and one of the Johns left, and uh, a guy, a guy joined who, who I think was called Steve, but he had to change his name to John so they could still be the Three Johns. But anyway, so so I, I picked this up, but that's not the song I'm going to do because I picked up something else from my favourite current. Uh, Leeds band and uh, this is uh, this is Yard Act and uh, this is a 12 inch single that was out uh, on Friday and it's called the Trenchcoat Museum and uh, as I say it's on uh, limited edition exclusive trench coat black vinyl I think they're having a little joke here um, but there you go it's uh, from Leeds the Trenchcoat Museum hot off the press and uh, that's my uh, tune from uh, from Leeds. So, uh, as I say, you know, go over and have a look at Peter's channel. Uh, have a look at Berkshire Mike's as well, particularly if you like punk. And uh, I'll leave links in the description. Until next time, bye.